Uh, the controversial debate over a bill aimed at improving preschool in South Dakota has a lot of people talking. You can find early learning advisory committees in 48 states, but a local lawmaker said it would push socialism in South Dakota. A lobbyist said early childhood education hurts families. Lawrence Thompson went on to say it grooms children to be gay or transgender and has even led to a national surgeon shortage. Ultimately, the Department of Education opposed the plan because of the cost, and lawmakers voted along party lines to kill the bill. Well, after seeing the debate on the news, we've heard from educators who want to set the record straight. Teloland Sarah McDonald takes us into the classroom in Vermilion. Sarah? John, both a teacher and psychologist who I sat down with today stressed the importance of investing in early childhood education. Jamie Habden has been a preschool teacher at Austin Elementary in Vermilion for seven years. The beginning of the year, we start out with lots of expectations of learning expectations. So, you know, how we can work together in a group and how we cooperate. Um, but certainly after those things are established, we could really the sky's the limit. I mean, I have three or four of these kiddos that are reading already. So we start with exposure to letters and sounds. The skills they learn in this classroom are beneficial for their futures in academics. What we expect of kids in kindergarten now is so much different than we expected even five or ten years ago. So, you know, anything that we can do early on when their brains are so susceptible to any of that kind of learning is huge. Dr. Carrie Oyen is a nationally certified school psychologist. She says early childhood education allows students to be successful long term. I think more importantly, it helps children to learn how to cope with those everyday demands of the school environment. And so we know that there are so many positive outcomes related to early childhood education. And says it's important for research based practices for early childhood education. There's been a lot of research done taking a look at our investments in early childhood education and what kind of return on investment that we get. The things they can do is incredible if they're just exposed and they're practiced and they're giving a, a safe, quality environment to do in. It's, it's such a big um, opportunity for us and so worth the investment. 